Hey everybody, it's Clay Moden out here at the VA hospital. We love our veterans and we want to have a chance for you to see what's inside the VA hospital in terms of opportunity, in terms of services, how you can volunteer. Let's go take a look inside and talk to some of the folks right here at the VA hospital. Hey, it's Clay back out here today with Jason who is a volunteer service specialist here at the VA hospital. Uh, we'll tell you more about these beautiful vans in just a few minutes. But first, Jason, uh, when it comes to volunteers, there's a big need here and a lot of positions too. Yeah, there's a lot of need for to help help our, our veterans that are in the hospital. Um, they come here day in, day out, and we need people to actually come here and help out where they can. Uh, we have a ton of jobs that they can do on a voluntary basis, everything from escorting veterans to their appointments, to DAV drivers, to driving them around the city, getting them from their homes into the hospital. What I found interesting was you mentioned even those who might be an electrician or a carpenter or a clerical person, they, they can help too. Yep, anybody that's retired from their job or even if they're currently working and just want to do stuff on their off times. If they have a specialty, we can definitely use it. We have jobs for pretty much anything you can think of within the facility here in Buffalo and Batavia. I was going to say, not only here in Buffalo, but the Batavia office too. Yes, yep. Very cool. How do we get involved? So they can actually come into the VA on the third floor and they can pick up an application, fill it out. We'll do uh, the whole process with them. They'll get fingerprints done. They'll get their, their TB test, everything that they need. And if they have to do stuff like computer access, we can get them computer access. Anything we can do to help them out and get them enrolled. What a great and rewarding way to give back too. Absolutely. I mean, the city of good neighbors, you know, our veterans definitely need help. Um, getting through and day-to-day -day stuff. So when they're here, it's not always a, the best time for them. So they need help and they, we just people coming in to talk to them even, that's a volunteer opportunity. Very cool, thanks Jason. All right, have a good day. I'm out here with Bob. Bob is a DAV hospital service coordinator here at the VA hospital. Bob, there's a big need for drivers. Uh, yeah, we, dry, we shuttle patients from Erie and Niagara County. Uh, we average 30 to 35 patients a day. That's 60 to 70 trips a day. And, and, and really, these vans are beautiful. Who's eligible to drive? Uh, anybody that's got a current valid license that is, doesn't have uh, any lot of marks on it. They do a background check. They do, I have to take a copy of their license. Uh, if they pass all that, anybody can drive. The, we don't need a special license or anything. I see you got a lot of vans out here. Um, where, where do you travel to? Uh, all of Erie and Niagara County. And you're traveling back and forth, taking patients basically back and forth to their appointments? We pick them up for their appointments, and when they're done, we take them home. All right, so yes, we're talking about Buffalo. We're here at the Buffalo Hospital, but you're also helping out Batavia. Right. Uh, one, one of these vans are in Batavia, and I believe they have six more. So drivers and dispatchers? Drivers and dispatchers. Dispatchers are responsible for getting the patients out, assigning uh, drivers to the patients, uh, getting the patients in in the morning. So there's a, and that, that's not as, re, as much responsibility as driving because you don't have to go through the physical and everything else. So. We, we would be remiss if we didn't mention how beautiful these new vans are. Where'd you get them? Uh, Russell Salvador. <laughs> he did a great job at these. Yes, he did, yes. He did it. Uh, they went to his office to ask him for a donation, and he said, what do you need? They said, we need new vans. Sent him down to Chevy and said, buy what you need, and I'll write the check. And that's what he did. For those, Ten of them. For those watching, how do you get involved? Where do you want to go to uh, become a driver? Uh, third floor, uh, volunteer services, or they can stop in our office, which is right off the, by the uh, parking garage and go in the main entrance. The first door on the left is the DAV office. I'm in there from five in the morning till two in the afternoon. Very cool, Bob, thank you. Okay, you have a good day.